His purpose was declared before the foundation of the world. His birth was foretold in the scriptures. His sacrifice was forewarned by the prophets. But it wouldn't have mattered. He was born of a virgin. He remained pure in the face of every temptation. He lived perfectly. Even his enemies couldn't bring a legitimate charge against him. But it wouldn't have mattered. He pursued the unlovable. He served the unworthy. He healed the incurable. He endured the betrayal of friends. He endured the condemnation of the crowds. He endured the cross with all its shame and suffering. But it wouldn't have mattered. None of it would have mattered if the grave had not been empty, if death had not been defeated, if Jesus had not risen, none of it matters. But because of the resurrection, it all matters. His suffering matters. It means we were bought with an unspeakable price. His love matters. It means God's love is not only unconditional, it's incomprehensible. His life matters. It means God became fully man to become our perfect sacrifice. And the prophecies matter. It means God was and is and always will be in control. And everything happens according to His plan. It means that faith in Him is not in vain. Belief in Him is not foolish. Those who tell the story are not liars. And those who trust in Jesus should not be pitied. Ultimately, the resurrection means that what you do with Jesus is all that should matter to you.